So this is the last part that I'm going to glitter before I move. Let it dry under the fan a little bit and then wait to get the next part done. glitter people so I think it looked covered nicely nicely covered. I got some harassing paper that changed colors as it moved along and some two-faced tape I'm gonna put it on here so, the harassing paper is going inside here with the glitter it's gonna give a it's gonna give a sparkly sparkly look to my vanity table. It's going to make it sparkly. So I'm going to put some on the other one. So it's not a diva tray without a diva dish guy. I'm going to put her here in the middle. She got two face tape behind her. There she go. A little two face tape. Yes, that's the video. Be a little upside down. I'm gonna turn it this way. She got some two face tape under her, helping to hold her down. I need some more tape. Two face tape is not gonna work for the stick on the glitter. So I got some B7000 that I'm gonna stick it on. And Maybe it's a whole better than that sticky tape. I don't want it to lift up after the resin get on there. So we're going to put her in there without, you know, lifting her up after the resin. I think she'll look good right here. Just like that. She's gonna go right there and she's gonna stick some of these pretty little things. It has sticky paper behind it. I hope I can get it all. So these things are sticky. Sticky back. Got it from my Dollar Plus store. I'm gonna put them all around the bottom here and, and stick it all the way around the whole thing. It's going to give it a pretty, pretty look. So I'm basically going to hook my tongue because this is real sticky. And I'm going to put it around here. This is my tedious part. I'm gonna let y'all see a little bit at the time of it. So see the bling around it, it looks cute. So, so far, this is what it looked like an inside. It's looking really pretty. It's got a little minor touch ups inside there, right here where I made a rub something off. But that's how it's looking so far. But I ain't finished yet. Uh, as y'all know, a diva can't be a diva without some flowers and i'm gonna put the flower in here anyway even though i'm gonna use resin you just won't be able to put nothing on that section you know that section that is all on there you just won't be able to stack now nobody like perfume or nothing like that but you can still put stuff around it you don't have to cover your diva to put your perfume and your your things on it on there I'm going to stick that down, some hot glue, and I'm going to pour the resin on top of it. I'm going to try to get it glued down enough. Not making it look flat 
but just make sure it's down. The risen going to bring it down some more. And then I got these two that's going to go here. These two are going to go here. As you know, got to have flowers down here too. So I'm just going to put some. Put some hot glue on there and stick that where her shirt used to be. So I put a diva on a lamp. I put a diva on canvas. I use diva in the burlap, diva in mesh, the um sponge thing. <laughs> The loafer. I did divas on a lot of things. But this is going to be very pretty when I finish. I'm going to add the vision to that. So now we got the flowers here. Flowers here. This is what it's looking like. It's very pretty. So I'm going to add some, some bling along here with some glue just to bring it out a little bit more. So I found some green that I match with it. So I'm just gonna um just add a little bit around the earring just to bring out the green flower. I'm gonna take my time nicely and I'm just gonna add add some of this bling around here that's gonna make flowers pop up and I'm not gonna put them close together because this is too tedious for me. Just a nice spaced it out just to make it look pretty. See how it's looking pretty already? Look at that. I don't know if y'all want to watch this, but y'all, as y'all see, I'm going to take my time and put it along the edges of these earrings just to give it a, a nice pretty look to these earrings. I think it's going to make it look nice. So just just gonna I'm just gonna take my time, add them in little spaces between each other. I mean y'all can fast forward. I'm just gonna do a little bit. And I'm gonna put them all the way around, show you around. I forgot to tell y'all that my my um diva is thermo laminated. Because I didn't want her face to get wet by the risen and change colors. So she's thermal laminated. Because I don't want her face messing up. So this part is pretty much done. What I'm gonna do with it for right now. And she's looking real pretty. Y'all can't tell me she ain't pretty. <laughs> so let me see what else I, I want to do. to just put a few of them inside here, just in different places. You know, so it won't look so plain. I don't even know where I put it at, these dots. There we go. Let that dry. You know, I really don't, oh, oh, okay. I'm trying to see where I put the dots at. Just a few here and there, you know, no particular pattern. No particular pattern. I'm just gonna put little dots. So I add some little dots around her face just to make the board pop out a little bit more. I think she looked pretty good. Yeah. Let me see what else I want to do. So this is the end results of my diva tray. Around the edges, I'm gonna paint it silver but this is what she looking like 
I'm going to mix them with it. I'm going to put it on top of here. And then the perfumes and things will go around on the edges. I'm a, I think it's going to be pretty. A nice diva tray. Come on now. You can't get up in that. I'll be using these silicone cups to mix my resin to pour on top of here. And I'm gonna get me a, um, a stirrer. All right, let's mix some resin. I'm gonna put part B in here at 100. I'm gonna put part A in here, and I had this for almost a, a year. For A in here at 100. Yeah, pull A a little slower because it's thick and then it'll build up too fast. Because it's dripping off the side of the thing. That's the part. This is the fun part, y'all, don't y'all think? All right, so that's 100. Somebody in the group asked me just to do a risen, to do risen. I say, all right, I'll do risen. I, I keep forgetting that everybody not crafters and some people want to see, you know, like the whole process or something. So that's that part, next part, I'm mixing it up. For y'all who already done did this, can go ahead and fast forward. Try to get all of it out. And the, the thing I figured out is that you need to take your time, try to get everything out, out of, of the silicone cups, and then stir it slowly slowly stirs it's going to work fast stirs it's going to give you a thousand bubbles and they're hard to come out then you need the heat gun and all that so just stir it up for a good two three minutes all right so i'm ready to pour and i'm going to focus like on the flowers and stuff it's going to make it flatten out but all the pieces is not going to have to go they're not gonna go flat because it's all gonna drip off off of here. So some still gonna remain light, some gonna still look normal, like the normal flowers that you get from the dollar store. So I'm just gonna do this carefully. And you don't have to worry about the light spots. I like the light spots. So some of the top pieces probably won't get covered in it. I know I'm going to have to mix a whole nother cup to cover this whole tray. But this is like it's going to be going already. And this flower on this side fell down a little bit more than the other one, but it's okay. The resin is settling in, making the flower go down, but it's all right. I'm gonna get some more resin. Pour another whole set like I did last time. Apparently, we need a whole lot. Almost two cups of it. Two cups of this ribbon. This tray is pretty big. Might need three. But I'm glad I'll get to use the risen because I don't get to use risen too often. I don't make a lot of rolling trees or things that I use risen. And I don't make risen cups. I 
sound like this. All right. So we're gonna put this in here and uh, add some more resin to it. You see it's starting to settle. But you wanna try and get all of it out. Y'all can fast forward this video if you want. All right, it's time to add some more resin. Uh, that's probably the reason why I don't really like resin. It's too messy. Very messy. But this should be enough to cover the whole rest of it, and then we don't need to do no more. I don't think so. Let me get all them beads down there. Take the paintbrush. Go over some of the glitter spots. It's the messy but fun spot, aren't you? Messy but fun. So the whole tray is now, so all the pictures and everything is under the diva. All covered up. make sure I get everything covered and for the most part everything look covered everything looks nice I'm gonna take some and just go up the side here it's just gonna drip back down but just enough my time and paint use this resin all around the top make sure you get all on every little piece around here because this can be hard too without dripping it so much on the back of it so just take your time i mean if you plan on doing it like mine's I want y'all to be creative and do your own. A lot of people do exactly. He wants to do exactly. This is gonna be mine. Y'all do yours. Mm -hmm. And the is not gonna harden up that fast. So you don't have to worry about that. It'll drip back off by itself. All of it will drip. Believe me, all of it will drip back off. And you won't even notice. Nobody won't notice. Inside those handles, making sure it don't drip on the outside. Which you can paint the inside all up under there. And uh, now the next step. I don't think y'all can see it, but there is some bubbles in my diva's face. So I'm just going to slightly blow away the bubbles on, on my heat gun. I'm going to slightly blow away the bubbles. Only around her face area. Because I don't want bubbles in her face. And then I'm 
gonna shake it around because I see some loose glitter in her face. So I wanna move that loose glitter and stuff out of her face. So her face won't look spotty with the glitter. Gonna be a little bit, but not a whole lot. And I got it on low heat, so it's, it's gonna pop these bubbles. You can't really see too much of the bubbles over here, but I can see the bubbles. And you don't wanna blow and stay in one spot too long, because you're gonna make it curl up. So pretty much, people, this is the end of my Diva tray. I don't think I need any more, any more risen. It looks pretty much coated. Yeah, it's coated. I can see it. I got my glasses on, still can't see too good, but it looks like it's enough that it's coated. Pretty good. The creator, nice glass barrier but now y'all like it so far i'll show it to y'all tomorrow thank y'all for watching my video please subscribe to my channel my crafting group is called crafting together as one come and hang out with us and learn with us my diva tray is finished i just added a little teeny bit more risen so i can give it that full glass look on top once it's dry tomorrow and I think it's going to be perfect. It's really cute. I'm really happy about it. I'm not more of a glam, glam person, but I think I like this. It's Mother's Day. I'm sure somebody wants it. What I'll do, I'll make a diva to match with this. A 13 by 19 diva to match with this. And then I'll match it with a lamp. A diva and a lamp and a tissue box. A whole set for Mother's Day. That's what I'm going to do. So. Thanks for watching the video.